Hello, this is another example of how to evaluate an extended flow state, which is covered in chapter three of your textbook uh, using the SL test calc. So let's get started. The problem is very simple. Uh, we have a pump which is raising water from say state one here to state two, 200 meter above. Um, and the initial or the inlet states are given under KPA and the exit state 5 MPA and isentropic manner. In other words, S2 equals S1. We are asked to find change in temperature and change in specific enthalpy. And maybe as an addendum, we'll find this change in specific flow energy so that we can distinguish between these two variables. Okay, so let's go. I've already logged in and launch a suitable test calc. We want to evaluate properties of an extended flow state. So obviously this is the desired branch. We click here and then select the model. And you notice that there is a HTML5 based app and a Java based app. We'll go for the HTML5 based always because that will work in any browser. Liquid water is already the default fluid. Uh, so we stick with liquid water. What is given is 100 kPa and notice that and the height is the elevation is already set to zero we don't need to change that notice that entropy cannot be calculated for the SL model where is entropy here it is you can see that it cannot be calculated unless the temperature is given well it turns out in this problem it doesn't matter what the temperature is I'm just arbitrarily putting a temperature let's say 20 degrees Celsius to find entropy we can come later and change that temperature the problem states that the entropy doesn't change between state and one and two. So if we go to state two, and what is given in this problem, let's go one more time, 200 meter is the elevation, and five MPA is the pressure there. So we select five MPA, and entropy doesn't change, so we can use an equation equals S1, this relates S2 to the already calculated state 1 and the height is given, the elevation is given as 100 meters, was it 100 meter? 200 meter, I'm sorry. We calculate the state, so therefore all kinds of variables are found. Notice that the temperature T2 and T1 are equal. If entropies are equal, temperature doesn't change. Uh, we can always find the answers here, suppose. You can say T2 minus T1 will produce the temperature difference. Or we could use a variable if you wanted, like this, delta T. And if you click the calculate button, then you, you declare a variable. So this is a new powerful very powerful feature of the I.O. panel. You can declare any variable and use those variables in the state panel. So that's the nice thing. So now suppose we go at state one, we say, no, the temperature is not 20 degree. It was 30 degrees Celsius. Of course, answer will not change. So we calculate the state one, we calculate state two. Notice the temperature became 30 degree. If I come back to the I.O. panel, I just click the calculate button, T2 minus T1 is still zero. Okay. Uh, how do you find our H2 minus H1? Okay, we can just write equal H2 minus H1. And that one of that is one of the question, 4.91. That's, you know, manually you can show you get exactly the same result. But note that J2 minus J1 will be slightly different because J is extrinsic property and that includes uh, the effect of elevation, effect of flow velocity. Uh, J means, if you, if you recall, J is H plus KE plus PE. So J, is, J carries the real energy of the flow. So if this mass flow rate of M dot is known, M dot times J will be how much energy is flowing into the pump. M dot times J2 would be how much energy is flowing out of the pump. So you can understand that in an energy balance, J will play a vital role. But H, the enthalpy being a thermodynamic property, 
a blue property if you go back to the state panel H will depend only on other thermodynamic properties the equilibrium state whereas J depends on height or velocity which are extrinsic in nature that is that depend on the observers uh, observer speed or orientation so anyway so this is a very simple way of calculating properties using the flow state test calc the blue properties are the thermodynamic properties that define the core properties of the state and then we add different layers the extrinsic properties come because of the observers dependent properties such as height or elevation or velocity of the flow and then the material properties are selected as, are, are found as soon as you select a material and it doesn't depend on the equilibrium it just depends on the identity of the material and finally the extensive in this case the transport properties of the flow such as how much kinetic energy is carried by the flow how much flow energy is carried by the flow etc are called extensive properties because they depend on the size or or the extent of the system so if I choose a very large diameter pipe uh, and uh, then we'll find that all these black properties will depend on the area that's why they're called extensive